Hi guys, how are you? So I just wanted to talk about this book. So far I have read almost 119 pages out of 151 pages. Just few more pages are left. And one interesting thing that I read in this book is that, and it is also related to our current society and our mentality as well. In this, there is this woman protagonist, Barbara. She is in her middle ages. She has a help, but she is poor. And she she lives with Theodora. Uh, Theodora is her maid, or you can say her servant. She takes care of Barbara. And Barbara, so far, she has maintained her dignity. She has lived her life with her convictions, her faith and maintained her character despite uh, crushing circumstances and all sorts of pain and treachery that she has faced in her life so far uh, till now so we can say that in terms of moral affairs she is victorious but in terms of uh, social circumstances as dictated by poverty and starvation she is not doing better so we will talk about uh, this character thing first as she has maintained her dignity and it's not easy to maintain your dignity you have to do a lot of sacrifices you have to go through circumstances which uh, keeps you away from pleasure so you sacrifice down the road so now as she is living in these quarters in these poor quarters and she has no source of help and she is completely dependent on our, ma our ma male protagonist uh, Makar Devishkin name is interesting so they have very strong bond with each other and they they really help each other they 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 don't help you know uh, like uh, if I say they don't give uh, like a lot of money to each other they just give mere uh, minimum like you can say some cents just for their barest minimum survival so now there is this old gentleman and suddenly he appears at Barbara's house he he tries to ingratiate himself with Barbara he tries to uh, befriend Barbara and he tries to show be benevolence to Barbara and gradually as he is old and he tries to approach Barbara he tries to touch Barbara tries to kiss her and he ultimately what he is trying he is trying to you know harass or you or we can say that he is trying to use Barbara because he knows that like Barbara is not in a very good condition her circumstances are pathetic and she can't do much on her own and this old gentleman I shouldn't say gentleman old brute uh, will be a nice term he is trying to take benefit of her situation and I think it is a sin in itself when people when when they appear in your life and they as you are already crushed and they try to take benefit of your situation you will also meet such people in your life no doubt you are living a poor pathetic life but there are people that you will find who will try to take some kind of benefit even despite uh, I mean even from your you know uh, in a uh, unacceptable or I should say destitute situation they will you know try to dig you as much deeper as possible so in this situation now Bar Barbara has recognized this thing and she tries to you know uh, keep herself away from this old gentleman and she sends him away from her house so and she understands the whole situation the whole intention of this old gentleman what he is trying to do and how he how he is trying to take benefit of of Barbara's pathetic circumstances so I find this thing very interesting because it is very relevant and it depict, depicts our present day reality as well where people come into your life and they try to you know show some kind of benevolence this they, they, they try to show that they are helping you but deep down they they will take benefit of you they will you know use you 
in 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 the most disgusting manner uh, without uh, your uh, like knowledge and they will you know stab you behind your back so you have heard this term like there are no free lunches in this world so this term also apply on this situation as well and on our life as well like there are no free lunch uh, lunches and if someone is benevolent you you need to dig deeper and try to understand the other person's intentions and definitely you will see the other side of the person uh, if you dig deeper so this is one thing that i particularly liked uh, i mean the one situation that really attracted me apart from that there are you know discussions there are situations that show extreme poverty extreme uh, brutal circumstances in one's everyday life they live in such poverty that which is indescribable like they are exchanging uh, their last cents or pennies they don't have much money and still whatever they have they are trying to exchange it with other for the benefit of our as they are in love they love each other madly and in this uh, like uh, poor circumstances still like they haven't sold their soul and this is the best thing uh, that i like about these people these both of these characters they have maintained their dignity one thing is interesting is that as I, now I am trying to, you know, relate uh, Carl Jung's theory. He says that in our life, whenever we try to do something and we deprive ourselves with certain other things, we we vent that thing in some different way. As we can't suppress everything, something has to release in one way or the other. If I have a desire and I crush that desire, that doesn't mean that that desire is killed it will come to the surface again in some different form in some different shape uh, whether physically or metaphorically i'm not sure about what but it will release itself it will present itself it will assert itself because that energy has to appear in some way so now i will relate this thing to makar's devishkin circumstances as he is facing this uh, like uh, destitution these poor circumstances so now he has to vent somewhere he has to emit his deep inner uh, inner chaos in some way so he indulges in tobacco he indulges in drunkenness this is just you know I would say the balance uh, even though it is drunkenness but by doing this he 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 is like uh, maintaining some sort of balance it is more like uh, deeper what i am trying to explain and i will definitely try to explain it in some other videos but these forces always they remain in equilibrium they remain in balance because this is the way of nature and there is no other explanation for me to tell you like you you can search it on your own because it is much more complex and it is uh, completely abstract and abstractions like those are some of the most difficult things to explain at least for me and guys i am really enjoying it and i'm also feeling happy and the, and sad at the same time because on the one hand i'm almost at the end of this book and on the other hand i don't want to finish it i i, I want to keep on reading it again and again because it is so much interesting that's wonderful i really like it i will see you soon have a nice time bye bye take care